hi guys so welcome back to my kitchen my name is adora on today's video i want to share with you guys how to make those very healthy creamy and delicious shrimp coconut rice please relax and enjoy till the very end one of the chief ingredients in today's recipe is coconut milk so over here i have two whole coconut and i'm going to make my own coconut milk from scratch if you don't want to go through the step which i know is not the easiest thing to do feel free to use a store-bought coconut milk but the truth is if you want to get the best taste and the best flavor please make your own coconut milk from scratch i'm not going to show all the steps of how to make coconut milk in this video because i don't want it to be longer than it is already but i'll make sure i link a detailed video so that you can watch it after watching this particular video moving on we are going to need some rice okay so here i'm going to scoop out five Five cups of long grain parboiled rice then I'll go ahead and wash the rice add some warm water into the rice and wash the rice and always sip out the water after scrubbing the rice in between your palms then keep on washing and taking out the water until you see the water coming out from it becomes a bit clear then transfer into a strainer and set the rice aside next we are going to prep the vegetables for our uh, yummy rice so over here I have some green onions and I have some traffic light bell peppers including an orange bell pepper I'm going to prep the vegetables cut and slice them into my desired sizes and shapes and I'll set them aside over here are shrimps you're going to season these shrimps i added some salt some thyme some paprika and some no seasoning powder i mixed everything together covered it with film wrap and let it marinate in the fridge for about 30 minutes to one hour if you don't have time to wait it is okay to use it right away but if you have time just let it marinate next we are going to blend our spices and our herbs so here i added one habanero pepper ginger garlic turmeric and half bulb of onion into a blender added some warm water and blend everything together after that set it aside the last and the most important thing you need to make sure you achieve the best results is using the right cookware okay sometimes people follow all the recipe but they end up with badly cooked meal because they use the wrong cookware i love using a high quality cookware to make my dishes and one of them is this brand of skillet by msmk okay this is a 12.5 inches skillet with a lid okay it has triple layers of non-stick material and tough titanium ceramic diamond compound which makes it super super durable the pan's y-shaped structure allows the handle to distribute heat effectively and it keeps the handle cool continuously so it has a stay cool handle it also has a four millimeter thick smooth stainless steel bottom and this allows for even heat distribution this pan is fda approved so you don't have to worry about toxins getting into your food while cooking i so much love using this pan to fry my tomatoes to use guys imagine frying a whole tomato stew without it getting burned without it sticking to the bottom of the pan it is so mind-blowing i also love to use it to fry akara just imagine the beautiful golden brown color it is giving me okay i also use this pan in the oven because it is oven safe okay up to 700 degrees fahrenheit guys the last but not the least thing for me about this pan is how very very easy it is to clean it is also so dishwasher safe guys if you are looking to get a very high quality pan or cookware make sure you check out this brand they also have different other types that you can ever imagine okay make sure you check out their website i'll insert it in the comment section now into a heated pan add about quarter cup of cooking oil use any oil of your choice 
let it heat up which takes about 30 seconds to one minute then add in our already seasoned shrimps and let it fry until it gets golden brown Now this is how I like my shrimps to be, they are golden brown, they are perfectly cooked for me. So I have to take it out now at this point and transfer into a bowl and then stir fry the last batch of the shrimps. After that I'm also going to scoop it out and transfer to the bowl and set the shrimps aside. Next we are going to add in more oil to a pan. Here I added about 2 tablespoons of oil and I added the green onions, sauteed everything together for about 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, go ahead and add the traffic light bell peppers including the orange bell pepper. Also add in some frozen peas or some green peas and add some seasoning powder i added one tablespoon of no chicken seasoning then i stir fried the vegetables for three minutes after three minutes i transferred them into a strainer because it has some vegetable juice that it brought out and i didn't want the vegetables to sit in the juice so i had to transfer them into a strainer and sip out all the water Now, using the same pan, add in the juice from the vegetables, add 1 liter of coconut milk, add in the blended ginger, garlic and pepper mixture. I also added 1 cube of seasoning, I added some salt and I mixed everything together. Cover and let it come to a 90% boil. Do not let it boil completely because it is going to boil over because of the fat in the coconut milk. Now mix everything around for the last time and then pour in the already washed rice. If you are watching till this point, please give this video a thumbs up and if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, it is free, okay? But most importantly, give this video a thumbs up, okay? Click on that like button. Now, and after adding the rice, mix everything together perfectly, okay? And then cover the rice and let it cook for about 15 minutes. This was after 15 minutes and at this point my whole house, not even just my kitchen, was smelling so so good. Guys, you know that smell, that good aroma that comes from dishes made with coconut milk. At this point, my whole house was just smelling that good. Now we are going to stir the rice around and we are going to turn down the heat and let the rice steam for another 10 minutes. And this is after 10 minutes, the rice is completely cooked. Now I'm going to introduce the shrimps and the vegetables and I'll stir everything around and that is it guys. It is ready okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you try out this dish. It tasted so so good like you need to try it out. Thank you so much and please give this video a thumbs up. And make sure you check out the link to this beautiful cookware that I used in this video. Thank you and I'll see you guys in my next one.